This video is about will the full moon give as much light pollution as if you are observing from the city? Let's talk about it. Hey guys. Hey guys, you know it's Joe Jaguar, your best friend. So today we're camping and we're at a Bortle Zone 2. Okay, it's not the same uh, friends that uh, the other Bortle Zone 2. This one actually has a much clearer view of uh, the south. Uh, cause every time I go to that place, uh, we can never see like Scorpio or anything. There's too many high trees. But anyway, today is only a third day after the full moon. Okay. I'm going to do a video called how much light pollution, uh, does the full moon give you? It's a couple days after the full moon, but still it's going to be very bright. Now I'm going to now test and see. Because I know from a Bortle Zone 8 or White Zone, okay, what constellation and how many stars you can see. So with a full moon from a Bortle Zone 2, is the moon putting out so much pollution that it's equal to being in a city? Now my guess, damn mosquitoes, I forgot to bring repellent. Um, my guess is probably going to be like a Bortle Zone 5 or 6, which is still decent, but not amazing. That's my guess, but let's kind of see tonight um, and see how it goes. So I also brought, let me show you. Uh, there's our new car that we got uh, this year, Jaguar. Uh, of course. Okay, so I brought um, the 12 inch Mead light bridge and I'm gonna be using the StarSense technology here. I could use a Star Hopper too if I feel like. And I have a really, I mean, I'll turn off the lights when I'm ready to view, but it's a really dark sky. And I have a really clear view of the south type of thing. It's not truly dark yet. But anyway, uh, let's see what happens. Let's see how much light pollution the moon actually, the full moon gives. And what type of Bortle zone would it be equivalent to? Because in four weeks, Angelus is going with a girl's camping trip. Or cottaging, I guess. And which means I could come back here. But again, it's going to be... Instead of three days past the full moon, uh, in four weeks, it's going to be exactly the full moon on the Friday night. And Saturday is going to be one day after the full moon. So I'm not even sure if I want to come up uh, that weekend. Uh, or today's going to be a good test to see um, how much light pollution does the the moon give off in a border zone two. If it's like a border zone five, let's say, it might still be worth it. Now, maybe the galaxies are gonna be kind of tough, um, but maybe like star clusters and globular clusters, we're, we're gonna test it out. Okay, see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, it's uh, 10.30 now. And um, there was some thin clouds. But anyway, you can see the moon is out there. It's not 100% full moon. Anyway, uh, there's a little sliver out on the right-hand side. But it is still brightening the sky. I'm going to let my eyes adjust uh, for about 10 minutes at least. And let the moon get higher and then we'll do some testing. Every day after a full moon, it is producing a lot of light. I mean, not super a lot, but enough where, you know, it's affecting the sky condition compared to like an hour ago. Now, I will say this, that I'm in a border white zone. So coming here to a two with almost a full moon, it's practically giving me, I would say, equivalent to maybe a seven. That's how bad it is i was thinking five or six uh, it could be six it's definitely not five um 
I think it's at least a six, maybe seven. Uh, I mean, it's still a lot more stars. I could see, like, from my backyard, the problem is, and I forgot my tripod, so I can't um, camera facing me. I need the, the flash on or you're not going to see me. But anyway, so the problem is, in my backyard, as you guys know, I got a, about seven, eight lights that shine on me. So that is also deters, but I can see the four, uh, like by Vega, there's like the four, it looks like almost a uh, squashed uh, rectangle. I can see this much clearer than there. It could be the lights. I could see more of Aquile here. Uh, Cassiopeia is starting to come up now. And uh, I think I see Jupiter over there uh, coming up. The small dipper, basically all I see is the same. The Polaris and then two of the bull stars. I see all of the big dipper. So I do see more stars, but it's not a lot more. Now here I can see Hercules. It's not super bright. It was before the moon came out, but now it's, I can see it, but it's not super bright. So anyway, um, and then there's Saturn over there. I don't know if the phone is going to capture it. With the full moon, it probably makes at least four zones worse. Kind of like light pollution. So I guess it's better than nothing. Uh, if you had to get away and it just happened to be a full moon, maybe six or seven from a two is okay. But for me, normally, it's not that great. I mean, you can still see stuff, but it's probably not going to be perfect. So if you guys are always used to, like, from a white zone, and I guess if you can get to it, like, six or six and a half, uh, because of the, the full moon, is that's the kind of light pollution it is. It's better than nothing. It's better than an eight. But a six, a six to seven is not great. Um, anyway, guys, that's it for this video. These damn bugs are eating me alive. I forgot the bug spray. I'll talk to you guys after. Joe Jaguar, like, comment, and subscribe. If you know anybody on the forums, um, share my link. I also do have now a members video, which uh, is 99 cents. I, I give a video once a month, only for you guys that are subscribed to that members forum. And I also put your name in the description. Anyway, guys, why not you? Why not me? Okay, guys, so I wanted to add, I did take a look at M13, M15, M11, M27, M57, and uh, maybe a few other things. Um, and those are the things that I looked at when I was testing the Star Sense and the Astro Hopper. And I can say that I can see them a bit better, like here, uh, comparing to a Nate zone. So my thinking is, now it's equivalent. So this is a zone two with the full moon, a three day uh, past full moon. It's equivalent to about six and a half uh, boredom zone, 6.5 I would say. Not quite a six, not quite a seven because the seven would only be one zone better. So my personal thinking then is next week or sorry, in four weeks when she goes out with the girlfriends. And that's going to be, the Friday is going to be the full moon. And then the Saturday is going to be one day past the full moon. It's going to be even slightly worse. I don't think I would go through all this headache in taking a 12-inch telescope, going observing. And maybe then, because this is three days past instead of the Friday will be the full day of the full moon. And if it's going to be 5% worse, I would say, there's no point. It's probably going to then be equivalent to a 7. That's only me getting... Oh, these mosquitoes, man. Sorry. That's going to basically be equivalent of me just getting one zone better. I don't think it's worth it. Anyway, that's it.